guys what's good it's your girl asia welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so y'all we are about to head to dubai it don't get no better than that period i'm with my friends jordan and Alyssa. hey this is jordan Alyssa. <laughs> we're about to head to the airport it's what six something in the morning it's early and bright we are all tired but we finna sleep on this plane hopefully so yeah i will catch y'all later So we got these pouches um, in our laps when we woke up. Just gonna open it and see what's inside. I wonder what it is. Right? <laughs> we got socks. Ooh, okay. And our cute little nude color. <laughs> <laughs> Love the compression socks. Oh, uh, a sweet eye mask. Very nice. Okay, is that bamboo? This is so cute. That is cute. Aww. Oh. Oh. And this thing. Okay. <laughs> it um, says power, the four elements and it has little. Very nice. Elements, so. Cute. Very cute. Okay. Thank you for that <laughs> wonderful tool. <laughs> of course, wonderful haul. Time, like, comment, and subscribe to Asia's Period. Hi.
Hey guys, so we have landed in Dubai. We're at the hotel now. Um, we're at the pool and bar, about to order some food. Um, that flight was so long, but it was good. We just slept most of the time. Um, Emirates is really actually a nice company. The planes are nice. So about to give y'all a little hotel tour. Um, it's nighttime right now here. I'm gonna say it's seven o'clock. So yeah, we're about to head to the mall. But before I do that, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little hotel tour. Okay. So when we first come in, here's the door. It's blending in with the walls, but it has this nice little walkway, hallway area. Let me come from this angle. Okay, yeah, so this is your view when you come in. Nice little walkway area. And, okay. That door is really loud. <laughs> By the way, we are at the Sheraton Grand Hotel in Dubai. So that's where we're staying. Other side of the closet. Some drawers down here. Oh gee, that door is annoying. Okay, so it comes real quickly. You have these cute little paintings. Everything's decorated so nice in here. And then here's the bathroom. It has this, the doors are mirrored on both sides. It's so nice. Um, they have the coffee bar stand, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Safe, all the usual hotel stuff, fridge. Ice bucket, coffee, or hot water thing. Yeah, all that. Well, all the goods. And then here is the bathroom. Yeah. Where'd you go?
to your size and they'll bring it to you and they have hand sanitizer this is nice and while i was walking through the store the guy was holding my clothes for me i didn't have to hold anything like america would never wow this is nice it's not that i don't
What's good guys? We're back at the hotel now. It's the start of day two. It's 5 a.m. now. Um, just give y'all a recap of what we did today because I'm sure y'all saw a bunch of montages. So we got here. We had to sit in this room. It was a big group of us, right? So with our travel agents. <laughs> so we had to wait for them to check us in. Mind you, we got here like 8, 9 a.m. They're like, your rooms aren't going to be ready till 3 p.m. So we're like, okay, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> so we were like... Walking around, went to the pool area, went to the bar, had a drinky drink and some food. It was pretty good, not too bad. Then eventually we got our hotel keys. Mind you, y'all, it's hot. It is so hot over here. We got here at 8 a.m. and it was already 90 degrees at 8 a.m. Like, be for real. Be for real. Do you know what the high today was, Alyssa? I think it was 100 when we landed. Yeah, like 100 degrees was the high today. Like, <laughs> instant sweat the moment you walk outside. Anywho. After we got checked into our room, we took a nap and then we went to the mall, beautiful mall, which y'all saw already. Then after that, we came back, changed, we went to this club called Club Blue. It was pretty lit. The only problem I had was that it was so many people and y'all, everybody is so rude. I really did not know that was a thing, but literally everybody is so rude. It's ridiculous. It's really annoying. So after that, I went to McDonald's, you know, because you want to try McDonald's in different countries to get a different experience. Terrible. Just nasty. It was nasty. Nasty. And on top of that, it was packed. It was packed in there. We went at like 4, after 4 a.m. because it's a 24-hour McDonald's. It was packed in there. Terrible. People were rude, cutting people, get trying to get that food for everybody else. Like this one guy had just ordered his food. All he had was fries, but still. So he's gonna go up to the counter, hold up, to, hold up his receipt, talking about I just want fries. Sir, wait in line like everybody else. What's wrong with you? So yeah, there's that. The only thing I can say about Dubai is like, besides the fact that the city is so pretty, everybody smells amazing. But other than that, everybody is so rude. I digress. Um, so we went to this little supermarket store after. I didn't get enough footage in there because I was holding my food, so I couldn't. But um, it was cool. I think everything was in there was overpriced, so that was interesting. Um, I am kind of jealous though. The McDonald's has here has a Kit Kat McFlurry. Dang, I can't talk. The McDonald's here has a Kit Kat McFlurry. I wish we had that back in the U.S. That sounds so good. But then again, the machines always be broken. So will we even be able to try it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's pretty much a little recap of today. Tomorrow, the plan is to wake up, maybe go to brunch. I don't know yet. Um, then we're going to go to Miracle Gardens, which is absolutely gorgeous. And after that is a desert safari tour. And then we get back. I don't, I can't remember what we're doing after that, but we have something else planned. But again, y'all will see. So yeah, I'm about to take a shower and go to sleep. Peace. Hey y'all, it is officially day two of Dubai of the Dubai trip. Um, today we're going to Miracle Gardens and then after that we'll be going to the desert. I'm so excited for both. Um, everybody's done getting ready so we're about to head to Miracle Gardens now. They're outside so I can't show you their outfits but I'm going to show you mine real quick. If the lighting is good. The lighting in this room is not the best. Okay y'all i'm back because i forgot to show y'all what fragrance that i'm wearing and that's super important also you can see my fit better in this mirror a little better so yeah and then <laughs> and then yeah the bag um there it is yeah so it's the full fit you guys i would just like to say before i show you the perfume i'm wearing that um i have kinkles i'm sure y'all saw <laughs> I'm so annoyed because I had no idea that like your ankles and legs can like swell up when you take a long flight. This is my first long flight. So I had no idea. So I didn't have any compression socks. So yeah, it's, they're still swollen. They look terrible. It's literally bothering me. Every time I look down on these huge swollen ankles, like that's not cute <laughs> at all. I hope they don't mess with my pictures. I'm gonna be mad y'all. I had to take my ankle off like that's how swollen they were. But whatever, nonetheless. This is the fragrance that I'm wearing. Also, I'm wearing sunscreen, so add that in there. <laughs> Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which you saw in my Sephora haul. It smells so freaking good. What is that? Oh no. Oh no. That's ghetto. Anyways, yeah, it smells freaking amazing, even with mixed with the sunscreen. If 
I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular Tell me would you Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away Ain't another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love And another woman that can take your spot, my love
So we just got done getting henna and doing camel riding. And they're about to do another show, I believe. And then we have dinner out in the desert at night. Everything's so pretty. And we also have shisha on the way as well. guys it is the morning now this is day three we're about to head on a city tour and we're gonna go shopping at the different suits um i think we're gonna be on this little like water boat thing i'm not sure but we'll see it'll be cute um and then after that we're gonna go to a beach club and then i'm gonna go on a dinner cruise so today is gonna be a long day but very fun filled let me show y'all my outfit real quick my nose is so stuffy all like I don't know why it's so annoying okay so I have this white top on with these orange pants and then white Adidas sandals and I have on my palm angel sunglasses I literally love these I just got these not too long ago they're so freaking cute <sighs> and then y'all I'm, I'm gonna be buying a lot of perfumes and stuff so I bought this big bag to take with me you said it's real like what's the Oh no, she's real leather. Oh. She's the nice and yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my friends' outfits now. All right, we got the fit checks on deck. Alyssa, what you wearing? All right, um, shoes are Steve Madden, pants Fashion Nova, shirt Forever 21, bag is Nike. Period. Shades? Dior. Period. What you wearing, Jordy? Hi, so I'm wearing Fashion Nova bodysuit, white fox pants. Little bag that my grandma gave me. These bags are also, I mean, these bags. <laughs> <laughs> these shades are also from Fashion Nova, random rings. Period. And I got my shoes from TJ Maxx. <laughs> Period. Save money, shop less. Period. <laughs> Alright. Wait, is that one? Yeah. 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 Ooh, it's so hot. I can feel it already. Population is around 4 million. In the country, around 10 million. Abu Dhabi is around 2 million. Mostly natives are in Abu Dhabi. UAE, which continent are we talking about? Do you know? Asia. 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 You came to the future, you know that, right? Yeah. You're in the future, you're supposed to be sleeping in the bed by now, right? <laughs> You might have like nice steak and dinner and all and some drinks, okay, good night. And here you're saying good morning, you're so okay, right? <laughs> so you're in the future. Probably some of the people, they might have the last day, like it's not 15, it's 14 back home maybe. Right? So you're in the future. Future is hot, you know that, right? Yeah. And quite sunny. Uh, we in Asia, and you know what sea we have? The, uh, what sea we have? We have Persian gold, but we don't call it Persian gold. We call it Arabian gold. Well, it's just because in schools they taught us both. And since we don't call it Persia because some political issues with Persia. So, Arabian sounds more Arabic. So, Arabian Gulf. And then the other side we have Indian Ocean. The other side we have, in, so we have two. Persian Gulf and Indian Ocean. 
and uh, long ago the many like the my, like the ships and cruise ships used to go to here now we have cruise ships before those cargo ships and all come here for a day or those submarines and all but now we have cruise ships ms caribbean Costa, ida they come here and uh, you know their weapons or their goods will stay with them and when they left india there was no other reason to renew that they left it but oil was discovered before that we discovered the oil in 1960 1960 in the Abu Dhabi and 1966 in Dubai. What was our source of income? Any wild gas? Before oil, before 60s, what was our source of income? Gold? I'm supposed to be rich by now. No, no gold. Petroleum. Oil. Okay, before 1960, guys. Gold. Minerals or pearls? Pearls, yes. Fishing and pearling. That was the main source of income and pearling because we had natural pearls and it was really expensive and not in demand until 1936 when the Japanese discovered the cultural pearl. Nobody wanted to buy the natural one because they're expensive and few shapes, size and colors. And the, the cultural ones have any size shapes and all that, like the, the one, the artificial ones, and they were cheaper too. So that was our source of income earlier and then with oil and now it's tourism. Abu Dhabi still has a lot of oil, and Abu Dhabi is all things special, like they have beautiful mosques, they got beautiful uh, city, going to the roller coasters, Ferrari World, Emirates Palace Hotel, Presidential Palace. It's really good, a beautiful city. Guys, here we are now, we are in Dabil now, you guys can, you guys can have a view, a picture stop, you are allowed to go till the police car, the second police car. This is the palace, this is Dabil Palace. Now, just to let you know that we have, Dubai Sheikh has many palaces. This is one of them, where tourists go and see and take pictures. You guys are in different, different group. If you want a group picture, you can help yourself. I'm going to be there with you guys so we can have a group picture. We have a short break. Like, we're not going to spend hours and hours in different, different spots. Probably, like, the whole trip is for four to five hours. So we'll try to see most of the things that we can see. Uh, now we're going to go down. You guys have... Say hello to Sheikh, get some selfies, pictures, group pictures, and then we're going to be moving back to the bus. I'm G Wagon. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. There's a peacock. Over there, you see it? Ooh. There's a peacock. Oh, gee. Wow, hold on real quick. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I feel like we're like the paparazzi at a red party. No, literally. Like a more interesting celebrity <laughs> pop star. <laughs> 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 Okay, Jordi. I mean, listen. Four or three fifty-five days a year, but English calendar runs three sixty-five or three sixty-four days a year. And to do the fourth pillar, but once in a lifetime, you need to visit Saudi Arabia, Mecca. And the last one is donation, Zakat. If you have extra money and wealth or your property, you should donate to needy people some of it or some part of it. The first three pillars has to be practiced by every Muslim. You can't say, oh, I'm too rich, I don't want to fast. I don't want to pray. I don't want to believe in God because I'm rich. No. The first three pillars has to be practiced by everyone. Believe in God and prophet, pray five times a day and fasting. But the last two, only if you're rich. You have to go with your own money. Not to borrow, not to steal, not to rob. 
to the Saudi Arabia and to the donation. If you have extra wealth and all that, you should donate. These are the five pillars of Islam. Well, going to the past, you need to do evolution. You have to go to the toilet first. Okay, so now go around to church another one. Now, you guys are here on a tourist visa, which is valid for a month. If you want to look for a job, you can do so. It takes only two days to change your working visa, so tourist visa, into working visa. Uh -huh. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love and another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. My love. Now if I wrote you a love note and made you smile. Sitting on the grass now side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away And so another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away And so another woman that can take your spot My love minutes your attention we're going to give you a chance to try to flip and stuff on as well but now we are in a in a market the stuff i'm holding it's called gatra the one i'm wearing it's called kandura kandura usually it comes white color for the native people in the <laughs> don't take me serious for this word okay i'm going to show this to you but before i show you close your eyes and inhale it as calm as possible don't sniff it too hard, okay? I don't want you to be high all day. <laughs> and don't say the name. Let them find guys, out. Keep your eyes closed, guys. Keep your eyes closed. As I told you. And don't you lose all your money. <laughs> Ooh. I did a, I inhaled a little too strong. Yeah, I'm like, oh, why did you say that? Ooh. What you need shish for me? You got this. <laughs> OMG. I can feel it in my yeah. <laughs> that shisha man ain't have nothing on this. <laughs> right. That's good if you sick and you got sinus issues, you need to open up your nose. Right. That is. Okay, now to explain you the thing you just experienced. That wasn't any kind of uh, mental or how do you say camphor. It's actually called natural eucalyptus. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that makes but sense. this is not the eucalyptus you might be familiar with because this one is the one which comes from a mountain and it's a crystallized Ooh. one which doesn't expire. So we use this one much more than any other eucalyptus you might know. And this thing, how we use is we put it top of the charcoal. And if you don't have a charcoal, you can also use it in hot water, sauna, and diffuser as well. And this thing, 
cures you the best. And what yeah. it works yeah. is, it's very good for your nose sinuses. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. sometimes yeah. you have had yeah. migraine yeah. for condition yeah. issues. Yeah. And I know, if you same. put it in hot water and inhale it through your mouth, it clears your lungs as well. Wow. Yeah. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. vlog is going to be so pretty and colorful. It's a great look. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Is our Uber? Oh, you definitely said a great Lexus. And I'm thinking. Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? 